Hello again everyone, welcome to another Fantasy Grounds Unity tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to access all of the data for the modules that you have loaded for your Fantasy Grounds Unity campaign. So in a previous tutorial I showed you how to load a module. Now to access all of that data in the module there are two different ways that you can access this data. So the first way is going into your library, which is in the lower right-hand corner. And as you can see, I have three modules loaded. I have the Player's Handbook for D&D 5e, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, and the Player's Guide for Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. So we'll say that I want to access some of the data for D&D Player's Handbook. So all I want to do is just, just click this, highlight it, and you'll notice in the box on the right, this has everything that is inside of the D&D Player's Handbook. And it has, as you can see, it's all broken up in the sections, images, tables, backgrounds, classes, equipment, feats, etc., all the way down to spells. And this has all of the content in the Player's Handbook. Now, the one thing that I wanna show you is the reference manual. And the reference manual is an amazing thing. It's like reading a PDF. So when you open up the reference manual, you can go ahead and hold down control and resize this window as large or as, as small as you want it. Or you can use the drag handle down here in the lower right hand corner. I just think it's easier and faster to hold down the control button and resize the window that way. So. All you have to do is just click on whatever section and these reference manuals are broken up into different chapters for you. As you can see, this is just like turning the page of a player's handbook. There's at the bottom right hand corner, there are some navigation buttons and you can just flip through those. All of the images are in there, everything. It is, it is a beautiful thing. And you just rifle through all of these pages and you can just read it like you're reading a book. Now, also, there is also, like I mentioned, it's broken up into chapters. So if you click on chapter one, it has everything for chapter one. Choose a race. This is basically you know, character creation. Here's for your races for chapter two, classes for chapter three, personalities and backgrounds. And you can see as you open up each one of these, everything is broken up for you. So if you're in the classes and you just want to read about the Paladin, all you have to do is just click on Paladin and voila, it just takes you right to the place where all of the information is. And everything is just displayed just as beautiful in Fantasy Grounds as it is in the player's handbook. So this is the reference manual and this is a beautiful thing. So you can access all of the content in the reference manual and then all of the other buttons here. So here's all of your classes. You can open up each one of these. They're all in alphabetical order. Here are all the spells. Here are all of the feats in the player's handbook. Everything is here and everything is drag and droppable onto a character sheet. And I've got other tutorials on character creation and all that other good stuff. So, but that's one way to access all of your content that's in the modules that you purchase. But just take into consideration, this is the D&D 5e Player's Handbook. So information for another game, say Pathfinder or Savage Worlds, it will still be the same. There will be reference manuals, but there just may not be feats. It may be called something else like edges and hindrances like in Savage Worlds. So this is the first way to access all of your data from the library. Now, the second way that you can access all of this data is all of the sidebar buttons on the right hand side. And you can access the same data from the library in these. So as, as soon as you load up the player's handbook, remember we took a look at the feats, you can click on the feet sidebar button here and they're all for you here as well. Alphabetical order. Classes, here we go. And the more books that you have loaded, because remember, I loaded up Tasha's as well. So you can see that there are uh, some barbarians in the player's handbook. And then here's some barbarian choices from Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. So whatever modules you have loaded in your library down here, all of that content will show up in the sidebar buttons on the right hand side. So there you go, everyone. That is how you access all of your data in Fantasy Grounds Unity. 
So give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please check all of the uh, other tutorials in my Unity playlist. And until next video, happy gaming.